There is a file in forward slash etc called fs tab. We're going to have a look at that today. So the FS tab is a file that contains information about your file systems. We're going to have a quick look at it and see what it actually does. This won't be a long run, especially it doesn't really play much of a part on a ZFS file formatted FreeBSD instance, but it can be useful for things that you would still need even if you are running ZFS. For instance, swap. If you're using swap, it's in there. It's still in there. So this is where your swap file will be mounted. And we'll have a quick look at that now. So on my screen, as you can see, there's a few things mounted that are not ZFS. So there's the, the file system for swap, which has got no mount point, so you can't access it directly. There is the Limproc FS, which is the Linux compatibility proc file system and the Linux compatibility system file systems plus temp fs which is also part of the linux linux later and then there's the fd uh, file system so what are these things so swap space is like virtual memory i guess you would call it if you were coming from a windows environment it's a part of your hard drive or ssd or whatever media you're using that is reserved for when you've run out of memory and it will use that instead. Now, because it's not system memory, it's not as fast, it's a hard drive. They're usually not as fast, but it is there as an overflow. Now you can use the, the file system, uh, the FS tab, to mount other volumes. You can use it to mount anything you like, really. You can use it to mount ZFS file systems. I don't know why you would, but generally it's used to mount other things. For instance, you would use this to mount the Limprop stuff, the Nixulator stuff. You would use it to, to mount things that maybe some of the graphical interfaces use. And that's where the FDE SC comes in, the, the FD, and that's part of it. Now, I don't have a system that doesn't use ZFS. I'm, I use pretty much exclusively ZFS these days. And so I don't really come in contact with the FS tab that often. But if you're still using UFS, you will find that you use this quite a lot. You can also use this file uh, for any optical media that you've got. If you're still running with CD drives or DVD drives or Blu-ray drives, you would put that in here and um, where you would mount it so that you can access it. And as I said, you can also put NFS mounts in here. So let's take a quick look at the, the man page for it. So it contains descriptive information about the various file systems. FS tab is only read by programs and not written. It is the duty of the system administrator to properly create and maintain this file. Each file system is described on a separate line. Fields on each line are separated by tabs or spaces. The order of records in FS tab is important because FSCK, again, not something that you would use often if you was using ZFS, mount and unmount, or U mount, Sequen sequentially iterate through FS tab doing their thing. In other words, the order matters because it goes down the list and, and does those those uh, descriptions. So if it's a, a mount, it will mount it each one in turn. So if we go down here, it should show us some examples. There we go. So just like in my one, there's a, an example of swap and temp temp FS you could use it for. Let's have a quick look at my ZFS list. Let's see if I have a temp. I do have a temp. There we go. So I wouldn't necessarily use it for this one, but you can. Again, more so if you are using UFS. And there are still reasons to use UFS. ZFS is much more modern, much more feature rich, but there are still good reasons for using it that I'm not going to go into in this video. So you can also have a swap backed MD, which is, yeah, that's quite an interesting one in memory file system. It's a memory file system. Okay, that's pretty cool. As I said, CD-ROM and also an NFS mount point. So this is all kind of useful if you're not using ZFS and, and some of it is useful if you are using it. CD-ROM, swap. So just a, a quick look at it there. 
I, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but this does help mount volumes on reboot and all of that good stuff. If you find this useful, do do the stuff down below. Share, like, dislike if you really don't like it. And don't forget to subscribe and come back for more videos. Take care.